acontece, né?
Okay, well, it's just Cody Butterfly now. He's in the Monarchs. They're all clean, folks. He's in the Monarchs. They're going to lay the migration generation. You better fly, man. Oh, how many? Oh, about a thousand. We have more coming, folks. More coming out. Tomorrow there'll be a lot more coming. Okay, folks, this is Craig the Butterfly, man. It's the uh, end of July. Uh, it's going to be a video to show you that uh, how to raise monarch butterflies any number from one to a thousand. Folks, naturally, safely raise clean monarch butterflies. Okay? As you can see, I have plenty of nectar plants here. These are Cosmos, monarch's favorite nectar plant. And bees love them. They're a great plant from seed to, seed to bloom in 45 days. Plant them in June in the Midwest, the Northeast, and the South. You can plant them the 1st of May, and you'll have them a lot longer. Okay, so I'm going to show you what I got going here, folks. This is, uh, of course, you've seen this. This is my, a lot of you seen this. This is my 25-foot butterfly trade. I take this to school. The kids walk through it, and I'll have anywhere between 30 and 100 butterflies flying around in here. And they will in this, and they go out the bag. Okay, so what I've done is I've wild-caught some monarch butterflies, okay? And uh, I've got some... A little extra nectar, little feeders in here. Those are nine to one sugar water. Okay. So what I do is I cut. This is common milkweed. You can do this with tropical milkweed. Now remember, bleaching is important, very important in Florida. You got to bleach the stems with the eggs on them in Florida, or at least bleach the eggs, which becomes a pain because you got to take them off the stem. Okay, these monarchs lay eggs on these stems, okay? I've got, see them here, i got different, that little $1 pitcher you get from Walmart, okay? It's a little $1 plastic pitcher, okay? i got plenty of nectar, okay? i got zinnias, i got everything. There we go, now let's go. I'm going to show you how to bleach, see? You take that stem, once you see that there's tons of eggs on there, you take that little pitcher, Today you'll have four or five gallon buckets of water, okay? The very first bucket, you'll dump a, a quart of bleach, 32 ounces of bleach in it, the first bucket. And then you'll fill it up to the top with water, and that's a 19 to 1 solution, which is what you want. The other three buckets, which I know you can't see in here, but there's a total of four is what you need, five gallon buckets. You take those stems, turn them upside down inside that bucket with the bleach in it and count to 60 or keep a stopwatch for a minute. You don't want it any longer than a minute because the eggs will melt. And a minute is what it takes to to, to kill that OE. And then you sl slowly rinse it in each of the next three. And the last one, you want to have your hose and keep it running over so that water's really staying clean for a long time. I even kind of change the hose out into different areas. So now you've got clean stems of milkweed folks with eggs on that are clean so now you're not going to introduce any oe into your enclosure now you can go out and cut a cut yourself a you find an egg on a stem got the stem take it home put a cup full of water you know rinse it off you find the egg rinse it off use a little 19 to 1 bleach Solution, do the same thing. You're going to do the five gallon bucket, you know, it, it, it doesn't hurt. Five gallon bucket if you just got one. And then say so you take that and you can set it in the window or you put it in a pop up. You know, you just got, you don't have a pop up, put it in the window. Now these pop ups are $7 at Walmart. Okay, this is another generation I did before this from another, oh, I don't know, it was like three or four wild caught 
females because my yards attract a lot of butterflies this time of year. So I just catch with my net right in my yard. And I have there's lots of different places around here that have big stands of common milkweed. So what's occurred is really pretty simple, folks. You get these pop-ups, Walmart, it's called a pop-up mesh hamper. It's 15 inches by 15 inches by 25 inches. I think they're about $7. It's got a zipper lid on it. You can see they've got some eight-sided ones that don't have a lid. Then you got to put a blanket or something on top to keep caterpillars in there. And they'll hang it on the blanket and they'll hang on the edges of these things too. So, so far, all you've really got is you've got a picture and a pop-up. So you got $8 plus tax, okay? Now, with those other ones, you want to make sure there's about 70 eggs on however many milkweed you put in your pitcher and put in one of these pop-ups. It keeps all the grass in one area, keeps it in the bottom. These were just raised in here. All these were just raised. I haven't dumped out the frass, but what you just keep adding bleach stems of clean milkweed, just like the stems you had in there with the eggs on them. Uh, they're 23 inches long because the pop-up's 25 inches long, so it clears the top that way. And eventually, you'll have all these on top. You'll have your pitcher in there like this. It'll be looking like this, but I've already taken the pictures out of here. Now, I added a couple pictures when I wanted to add a whole bunch of new milkweed. But, you know, once these things start getting bigger, you don't need to put the stems in water when you put them in there. You just throw them in there like I have this stem. You see that stem? They're devouring it. See, they haven't started hanging up here yet, but they will. All these other ones, they're hanging. They're hanging on top, folks. See them? See them hanging there? Lots of them. Go back. This was a wild caught one. So, see, you can wild catch a female. You don't need a trailer. You put her in here with a bunch of nice, clean, rich stems of, of common milkweed, 23 inches long, put about three or four in there, let her lay eggs. And within three days of her starting to lay, you want to take, her, take those stems out, let her go, or put her in another pop-up with three stems and take those stems and go do the bleach thing, the 19 to one bleach to water and the um, three rinses, okay? And then you start with a clean thing here every time. You just gotta remember, and then they, they find their own way to the top. You don't need to put them, change them from Tupperware thing to Tupperware thing. They, this is how you do this. This is the most natural way and you don't have to handle them. You don't have to keep, worrying about them all the time whether and you know you don't have to worry if they're getting air i got a fan going in here i got a room temperature but you could run air conditioning if you want to as long as you don't keep it real cool i would say you'd want to keep it around 78 just so that the process goes faster you can see i have no idea right now how many chrysalis i'm going to get i'll do another video to uh show you but these how once they're all up i'll clean this i'll take this outside i just wanted to show you this is uh, how all the frass is contained. I'll take this outside, I dump the frass out of the yard, I rinse the thing off, and I'll have a whole bunch of, of uh, chrysalis, and in 10 days I'll have butterflies. Now I'll let them go in my yard because I have plenty of nectar. Now you may want to go to a garden center and, and with, with your pop-up that looks like this all clean out and release them. People start talking to you and asking about it, and you can get more people to uh, join the cause and the movement to raise monarch butterflies. The more we get, the better, okay? Now, these, since we put nothing with OE on it in here, then nothing can come out of here with OE on it, got it? If you don't put it in there, it can't come out. OE is a living organism, okay? So I'm gonna let you go right now and get off this thing. It's just, like I said, it's Craig the Butterfly Man. Dot com. Go to my website. All this stuff's on there, and this video will be on there, too, in the playlist. So, so watch this video. Watch all the other videos. You'll be an expert. I mean, this is fun. Get your friends involved. The pin post at the top of the How to Raise Monarch Butterflies group page. You'll publish. Share that on your timeline and keep it at the top of your timeline. Share it on your close friends' timelines. Maybe they want to raise monarchs, too. The more people we get in this, the better it is the more monarchs we'll have. Plant those pollinator gardens like I have, but I don't have to go looking for 
monarchs, I've got them. And I've got the common milkweed out there too, planted. So, but it takes quite a bit. I mean, this just to raise these, I've used a couple hundred stalks, but there's a couple hundred 23 inch stalks, but there's tons of milkweed out there, folks. And when I release these, these will produce, and probably if I get a thousand out of this, they'll add probably 25,000 to the migration, which is the next generation. These monarchs' children will be the ones that uh, uh, are the ones that fly to uh, Mexico. They're the migration generation. Okay. Crank the butterfly bath over and uh, get out, folks. Have fun. Okay, folks, here we are. It's, uh, oh, I don't know, it's about the 20th, I think, 25th, 26th of July. So, I've got about 50 chrysalis up here. A few cats left that haven't hung yet. So you can see, yeah, I've got a little milk we've left in here. Now, this is what the hatchery looks like before you add anything that's alive to it. So you put, you drill half. Okay, folks, here we are. It's, uh, oh, I don't know, it's about the 20th, I think 25th, 26th of July. So, I've got about 50 chrysalis up here. A few cats left that haven't hung yet. So you can see, yeah, I've got a little milk we've left in here. Now, this is what the hatchery looks like before you Okay, folks, here we are. It's, uh, oh, I don't know, it's about the 20th, I think, 25th, 26th of July. So, I've got about 50 chrysalis up here. A few cats left that haven't hung yet. So you can see, yeah, I've got a little milk we've left in here. Now, this is what the hatchery looks like before you add anything that's alive to it. So you put, you drill half inch holes, maybe about, you know, six or eight of them in there and fill it completely full of water. That's where you're going to put your stems. And of course, I fold these hatcheries, they'll fold up into a little circle, you know, and uh, Okay, folks, here we are. It's uh, May 31st, 2019. We're at the Yale Farm, uh, Yale University Farm in New Haven, Connecticut. And we're going to raise some monarch butterflies here this summer. And this is our little pop up. This is how look, we harvest these common milkweed stems. They're up now. It's May 31st. These in the northeast and the midwest they're growing about this tall right now they'll get six or seven foot tall and below this video i'll show you a video 
exactly what it looks like when it gets six or seven foot tall. We use this little six dollar and fifty cent pop up that you can buy at any Walmart. They call it a hamper. So if you go in there into the Walmart, you say you want this little pop up hamper. And it looks like this when it's up. And of course, they have a picture of it. And you got a little dollar type little waste basket here. And we put the milkweed on. Now, you want to make sure the when you put the milkweed in, you want to make sure you trim the bottom of the stem underwater so it doesn't heal so that this milkweed will stay fresh for a long time. Uh, and what we'll do here is we'll add a female in here and she'll lay eggs on this. And then if she, you know, she, she'll lay eggs for a day or two and then we can move her into a, another pop-up or just let her go. And then what'll happen here is you know, when you cut the milkweed, of course you go out and you cut it in a, and put it in a little container like this, a little bucket of some kind, so that you can you can uh, put it in there as soon as you cut it. It's growing wild everywhere now. Like I said, I'll put a show you a video of what they look like when they're out in the wild amongst another a lot of other native plants. This is a little butterfly net you can case that monarch with. They have these at a uh, Dollar Tree, or you can order them online if you uh, go to the Dollar Tree. But you have to buy a dozen of them at a time. So if you have other friends, they're like twenty-four for a dozen and a dollar. And uh, you got some other friends that want to raise monarchs, so help you try to catch monarchs. This is what you use, but you just put her in there, and then what happens is, is you, of course, zip it all up, and it's tight, and it's indoors. It's in a window inside in your house, and then uh, once the eggs start hatching, then you just keep adding stems, and nature will take care of the rest. They'll, now, you want to put maybe a whole a layer of paper towels here on the bottom, put two or three layers of paper towels to catch the frass, because the caterpillars start and they poop down here but there's they stay pretty much away from the poop up here naturally like they do in nature because see these stems are up and then after the monarchs have eaten enough they will go up here and top you'll see as you see some other videos they'll hang up here on top be, you know anywhere between 50 and 80 you know, up on top and then you of course take this out you take the <laughs> this out you take the water paper towels and about 10 days after they all become chrysalis on the top you'll uh, have a pop-up full of uh, monarch butterflies and you'll you want to take that pop-up full of monarch butterflies to a uh, garden center or a public garden to release those butterflies because they'll be hungry and they'll need a lot of nectar plants around them for them to eat. So there's more videos uh, in this playlist that I put together for you, and it covers some other things. So you want to watch most of the videos in the playlist so you can, could I leave out things when I'm doing one of these? I'm not the best movie producer. But uh, this is a 15 by 15 by 25 inch. And here's the tag. We're getting vegetables ready for the farmer's market. Uh, at the square tomorrow, we'll be trying to do all, you know, organic growing here at the farm. Uh, this is crazy butterfly, man. I see. Uh, so we got stuff coming up out here, and then we have we have uh, stuff in these little uh, cold frames, so we could start it earlier in the year, and then. We, of course, have nectar plants along the wall. And there you can see a lot of common milkweed coming up right now. Okay. Coming up right along the, uh, this is the boss here. So that's all for this video. I'll be adding videos in beneath this YouTube video. I'll have some links and uh, videos in this playlist. Let's carry the butterfly, man. Over now. Okay, folks, this is Craig the Butterfly, man. It's the uh, end of July. Uh,
Gotta go look at her bugs. 